we're going guys around the boy here um, out with my mate Kamer today um, we're at Lake St Clair and it's just after all those real hectic floods the sound is looking lovely see what happens when you fish a weather event use a six pound six pound and eight pound later First little bass, it's not bad. Probably only a little 20 centimeter model, but at least we're catching fish. They're just rolling little soft plastics along these weed beds with spinners on them. Little slim swims. So that's, that's a setup we're running, a little one six head, eight pound line, little spinner and a Z-Man motor oil Slim Swims 2.5. Yeah, throw it within a foot of the bank. Let's get it moving. Might liven up when he sees a boat. Not heavy. St. Clair Bass. There we go. Huh. Nice little fish. They're looking healthy, which is good to see. Beautiful little fish. Yeah, he didn't fight much. The other fella had something more to say about it. Oh, wee. Oh. Yeah. Oi. Finally. He's all right, eh? Not bad. He's no, yeah, he's, I know he's not the one you want, but. Better, better than everything else we've been getting. When he's out, throw the spin drive out, mate. Spin drives, jerk baits, right oh. She's coming out. She's coming out, boys. There we go. Nice fish. Cayman won't bloody settle for anything less than 50 though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, no. 
and just cheesy hit that hard. Yeah. I really smack him, eh? Oh, <laughs> do you hear that? No. It's just like boom. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Imagine like a 50 centimeter hit snap. Jeez, that was a hard hit. That tiny fish scared the hell out of me. Imagine a big one on a little jerk bait. You won't say no. Nice fish. You. Come on, big fella. I know you're down there. Oh, yep. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Put on film. Oh. Yep, he's on film. Pulling a bit of string. Oh. He's better. Still not huge, but he's better. <laughs> Pole treatment. <laughs> nice little bass. Haven't really broken into any of the bigger kind of fish yet. They've all kind of been this 25 centimeter kind of fish, but you know, at least we're catching, so we're not complaining, that's for sure. But it'd be really nice to break into those 40 models and uh, maybe even bigger than that. Anyway, off you go, mate. Oh man, I'm addicted to this, eh? Hey? Addicted? Yeah. <laughs> Just a smack. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> two from two. It's the same fish. Beautiful. Gotta love that. Two fish, two casts. There we go. Yep. Just another little one. Oh, double oh, doubles. Three from three. Nope. <laughs> Mate, the power of editing will make any hat trick. <laughs> But no, no hat trick. Every, I go past that every day. Every time I go with him, I don't want to Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen my sounder like that. Have a look at that. <laughs> Wait on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a better fish. <laughs> oh yeah, he's pulling string, he's heavy. Yeah. <sighs> Bit better. Much better than what I've been getting. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Did you hear him rip the drag? Yeah, <laughs> Real nice fish. Look at that sounder. Look at that fish. Oh, love it. Release footage. Oh, beautiful. Splash me and everything. Yes. And the surface bite has begun. So it's right up on the shoreline. Mm. Right, eh? That's the deciding factor. Giving you a bit of grief. Oh, yeah, he's alright. He's alright, eh?
So guys, the surface fishing really died after that first take, uh, which was strange. I've never experienced that at Lake St. Clair or any of the dams that I've fished over the past season. Uh, for bass, there's usually a hot surface bite just on dusk, uh, but that was not the case today. The winner today was uh, throwing crankbaits. Anyway, I'm going to take you for a little tackle talk through what we were using. First up, I was using the Stratic CI4 1000 paired up a six pound braid, and that's on the Atomic Arrows Brim Surface Rod. Next up, you would have seen me using one of my favorite setups. This is a Daiwa Tatula 100H 6.3, and it is paired up with eight pound Berkeley X9, and the rod is a mini skinny TD Black three to six kilo. The other setup that you would have seen me throwing surface was this bad boy right here. This is a Abu Garcia Revo ALX 2500 MSH and that is on a two to five kilo Abu Styles rod. And that was throwing the little TMCO black cicadas. I've got it on the other rod at the moment just because I was trying a few experiments. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe as this channel's in its infancy and it really helps out a lot. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.